Looking at replacing your old heating and cooling system? As you probably already know, buying a new one is a fairly big investment. However, what you pay for your new equipment is actually only the tip of the iceberg. More importantly, your utility company will send you a bill each month for the energy the equipment uses. As the Environmental Protection Agency points out in this consumer protection booklet, heating and cooling equipment comes with two price tags, the cost to buy the equipment and the cost to run it. Heating and cooling systems typically last 12 to 20 years, so the choice you make about your heating and cooling system today will affect your utility bills, home comfort, indoor air quality, and the environment for years to come. So, buying a new system is actually a bigger decision than most people realize. It's important to ensure your new system truly is energy efficient to minimize the total costs. It's true that equipment manufacturers have made a lot of progress with energy efficiency and the new units can greatly reduce utility bills. But will this really happen? Are the new systems really as efficient as they say? Well, yes and no. Some homeowners actually have saved 25 to 40 percent and many others have seen more modest savings of 15 to 25 percent. However, many buyers of new high efficiency systems have seen little or no savings. Independent government utility research has discovered that only a small fraction of newly installed comfort systems actually operate at the efficiency they're capable of. Poor utility bill savings are only one possible disappointment. Many people expect their new system will improve comfort and provide more even temperatures. Some who buy new systems find they are less comfortable than they were with their old one. In particular, many homeowners complain their new high efficiency air conditioner doesn't reduce the humidity as well as their old one. In some cases, unhealthy mold has started growing in their homes. How can these things happen? Simply put, there's much more to a comfort system than the furnace, air conditioner, or heat pump. Although modern heating and cooling equipment is far more energy efficient, it is also much more sensitive to many outside factors. Efficiency is measured in a controlled, ideal laboratory setting. A lot can go wrong when the equipment is taken out into the real world and installed in a home. The EPA says the equipment you choose is just one part of the equation. Savings and satisfaction will depend on whether your contractor correctly sizes and installs the equipment and ensures that it is working as part of an integrated heating and cooling system. This is why many consumer protection authorities recommend that you be careful and do your homework. Fortunately, there is a way to make sure your new heating and cooling system really does save money on your utility bills and improve overall comfort and indoor air quality. Before quoting you a price for a new comfort system, a good heating, ventilation, and air conditioning contractor will recommend what's called a whole house health and comfort checkup. Your consultant will carry out a series of inspections and tests on your home, kind of like a doctor's checkup. The primary test measures how leaky your home and ductwork are. This is done using a computerized diagnostic instrument called an infiltrometer blower door. This instrument was originally developed by Department of Energy scientists and has been featured in major publications such as National Geographic, Popular Science, and Better Homes and Gardens. It has been on many TV network news and home improvement programs. The infiltrometer test is something like an x-ray or MRI for your home that finds hidden air leaks. It sets up in an outside doorway and creates a temporary pressure similar to a 15 mile per hour wind on all sides of your home. The test measures how leaky or tight your home is, which affects how big a system you need. The test also determines if your family is getting enough fresh air or if in fact you are overpaying the utility company because your house or duct system is far too leaky. You've probably heard the saying that a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. With a new high efficiency comfort system, the weak link is usually the old duct system it is hooked up to. According to this Department of Energy report, typical duct systems lose 25 to 40 percent of the heating or cooling energy put out by the central furnace, heat pump, or air conditioner. The EPA states, since as much as 30 percent of the efficiency of your system is a result of duct work, overlooking duct improvements may compromise comfort and cost you money. Ask your contractor to inspect your ducts for leaks, incomplete connections, and compatibility with the rest of your system. Ideally, your contractor should use diagnostic equipment. 
Another EPA Energy Star pamphlet states, no matter how energy efficient your equipment is, it will not perform at its best if the ducts are leaky. Be sure to get what you pay for by complementing your efficient equipment purchase with properly sealed ducts. To ensure your ducts won't drag down the performance of your new system, your consultant will perform the diagnostic tests recommended by the EPA, the Department of Energy, and other authorities. These tests will identify any leakage, excessive duct pressures, or causes of insufficient airflow to uncomfortable rooms. Your consultant will also visually inspect your home's insulation levels and see if missing insulation could be contributing to hot or cold spots or high utility bills. In addition to ensuring your new system will work properly, the checkup usually uncovers the true causes of any comfort or unhealthy indoor air problems you may have and thought you just had to put up with. Problems like hot or cold rooms, excessive dust on the furniture, or air that is sometimes too dry or too humid. New equipment alone can't solve these problems, but there may be economical solutions that can be implemented at the same time you install your new system. Once the examination process is completed, if any problems were found that would keep your new system from working right, your consultant will come up with a prioritized improvement plan and explain the most economical ways to solve them. The right sized equipment for your unique needs will also be presented. Invest the time to get all the facts. Ask your contractor to start by performing a whole house health and comfort checkup. It is simply the right way to buy a new comfort system, one you'll be happy with for years to come. Remember, the wrong system, improperly installed, could sentence you to over 20 years of discomfort and excessive utility bills. During your checkup, I encourage you to ask questions at any time and to participate fully in the process. The testing is very visual and you'll learn things about your home and indoor comfort you didn't know before. Congratulations, you're well on your way to a safer, healthier, more comfortable and affordable home.